Hello everybody, Sparky Combs bringing you the uh, yard sale, flea market, and garbage finds for August, uh, I think today is the 23rd, 22nd, 23rd I believe it is. This is Charlie the Turtle. I didn't buy him at a yard sale, he's been with us for a little over a year now, actually about a year and a half. Pretty good pet. Don't really have to pay him a whole lot of attention. Throw him some feed every now and then, clean out his water. He's pretty happy. Uh, anyway, oh. got uh, quite a bit to show you there. Uh, a couple neat stories, what I think will be neat stories. And then uh, at the end, we will do a uh, sales update. So. In order to get started, I gotta go downstairs, so we'll do that, and I'll see you in the basement. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna show you is this desk. Um, probably antique desk. There's a the side of it. I can't show you the other side. I'll try to show you the back here. It's one shot of the back. It's hard to see the other side there. Anyway, uh, pretty neat handles on it. If I can get a good shot of them. Plastic. Drawers open good, very clean. I got the other two handles too. They came off while bringing it home here. Uh, I got this a couple months ago. I was at a training and I stayed uh, with my brother in Paris, Kentucky and we went one night up to an auction and uh, um, bought this at the auction. I may have mentioned it in a video before. I don't know if I did or not. Uh, anyway, um, thought about doing a contest on this to see if somebody could guess how much I paid for it at the auction. Uh, like I said, it's got all the plastic handles. It's in good shape, clean. Anyway, uh, how much do you think I paid? I paid one dollar for this. And I think that's a pretty good deal. A little bit of work. I think, uh, think I could sell it probably make I don't know 40 probably ask 40 or 50 dollars for it probably ask more and take 40 or 50 dollars I should say but anyway it's the first thing I wanted to show you I've just got it home my brother stayed with me this weekend and he brought it up to me from his house so thought I'd show that anyway now let's go back upstairs okay so here we are back upstairs put the camera on the uh, tripod hands-free approach I guess. So let me show you what I got this weekend. Didn't get a whole lot of stuff but I think I got some interesting stuff. Uh, first of all, women's shots. Decent shape. Uh, paid uh, three dollars for them. May give them a good cleaning. Size are they? They're size seven and a half. Women's of course. Probably get 12 out of them, 15 maybe. Uh, one of the interesting stories I mentioned, I've got a pair of shocks that's going to end tonight. I showed them a couple videos ago. I ended up paying $5 for them. They sold for, I think they sold for 15, or they're going to at least sell for 15, maybe a couple dollars more. Depends how much, how much bidding takes place between now and I think 9 o'clock tonight. But anyway, got a message from a lady the other morning about the shoes, asking me if I had ever wore these shoes barefooted. And uh, I got them at a yard sale. And I'm a man, they're women's shoes. So I said honestly to her, no, I have never wore these shoes barefooted. And I sent it back to her. And about six or seven hours later, I get a request from this same lady. And I had the shoes, uh, I think I had a buy it now price for $15 on them. <clears throat> and uh, she said she would be willing to pay the $15 plus another $650, I think it was, $640, shipping on them if I would keep them for 30 days and wear them barefooted and get them as dirty as possible during that 30 days. Uh, just a weird request. Uh, didn't respond back to her. The bidding's already at, I think it's $14 or something like that. They're not in that good of shape anyway. She said she just wanted 
wanted them to be really, really dirty and old and grungy looking. You know, she could do that herself if she wants them more barefooted and stink or whatever. She can do that herself. But anyway, it's probably the strangest uh, request I've had from any eBay customer, definitely. And no, I'm not going to wear them. So anyway, I uh, picked these up. Uh, $8 cheerleading shoes for kid. Size is two and a half. Never worn, still in the box. Very, very clean. They come with these little uh, different colored uh, things that you can put in the side, I guess, to match your school color or whatever there. Um, like I said, paid $8 for those. I don't know how much I'll get out of those. Uh, probably get, I don't know, 15 or 20. I won't get 20, probably more like 15. Uh, what's next? Um, a couple mugs, three mugs actually. Um, two Denny's mugs. And a mug with a nice little strawberry pattern on it. That is a McCoy mug. Um, paid $2 for all three of them. Figure the McCoy mug may bring that much by itself, maybe five, six dollars. Anyway, don't know about the Denny's ones, but they were neat. We can always use mugs, coffee mugs around the house. Uh, this thing got this out of the trash where I work in a hospital. Show it to you there. Uh, looks like a briefcase, lady. Uh, Said she was throwing it away, it had been in storage since she'd worked there. I don't know how long it had been, maybe a couple days, I don't know, but whoever, whoever was with her didn't mind me taking it either. So anyway, let me show you what it does. It is a uh, school projector. You push these in, you pull this out for just a minute, and so you slide that down, lift this up. It's very heavy, this thing weighs like 25 pounds. Push those up like so. Push the mirror up like that. And it's one of those projectors. Like I said, they use them a lot in college and I guess high school. And this sits back down in there. Sits on there. It works. I've already tried it. It works perfect, very bright. And you would put your paper on here on this part and it would reflect up here, shine out onto the wall. Uh, didn't pay a dime for it. Like I said, Got it in the trash. They're on eBay. I've checked. They're going in from anywhere from $45 to around $100. Um, most of them don't have a carrying case like this. Uh, don't know how well they're saying. Those are all, how well they're selling. All those are a buy it now prices. So, anyway, it works fine. No problem. I'll drop it right here. Ah. Let's see. Now, I got this box. Went to an estate sale and uh, the people were really, really eager to get rid of everything in the house. And when you walk in, they say hello, of course, and there's a bunch of boxes sitting over here in this corner, various sizes. And the lady tells me uh, the big boxes are $25, the small boxes are $10, and like I said, this size was a $5 box. Anything you can put in these boxes, that's how much you pay for it. 25, 10, and five. So uh, I started me a pile. Now, I figure the house is pretty much already went through anyway, but started me a pile and I ended up getting everything in this box, like I said, for $5. And there's some pretty neat things in here I'm gonna show you. Uh, maybe some things I'll make a lot of money on. I'm definitely gonna get my money back, I believe. But anyway. Uh, E.T. doll with a little cord around his neck. Um, from Showtime back in 19, uh, Kmar, Kmar International Incorporated uh, from 1982. Falling home. <laughs> um, anyway, there's that. Thought he's supposed to talk or something, but I don't guess he does. Anyway, um, let's see. Couple lock sets, keep those for myself. Never, never can have too many locks around the house. Another little 
Korean or Japanese made in People's Republic of China. I'm sorry, lock. It's a brass lock, never open. May throw that on there. Don't expect to get much out of it if I even sell sell it. So anyway, probably keep that. I always use that too around the house. Uh, what else? What else? What else? We'll save that one for here in a minute. Got these hats. Uh, Franklin D. Roosevelt um, hat from the ship. Uh, snapback. Pretty popular. I see a lot of veterans and stuff wearing those hats. Um, vintage. Again, snapback. NRA hat. Says NRA made for the USA on it. Hardly ever wore. Got that. Uh, got this thing. I think this is a sharpener. Um, the name of the plastic is, escapes me at the moment, but that looks similar. Show you a better picture of the plastic. Looks similar to the plastic that is on the drawers on the desk that I showed you a while ago. And that's the reason I bought that. This this part down here is pretty rusty. I guess you could still use it to sharpen or whatever with it. Uh, may try to sell that. If it sells, it'd be just for the handle, I'm sure. Um, got a bunch of little trains here. Santa Fe, Tropicana, Orange Juice, Hershey. Got it. Gum. Some part just fell off. That's one of the wheels. We'll put that back on. Shouldn't be a problem. Um, Illinois Central Gulf. And then you got a little train car. That all came in the box. Needs a good cleaning, but uh, need to try to figure out what size that is. I don't know or what scale that is. It should be fairly easy to look up. Pretty, pretty good shape though. Appear to be. Anyway, um, we've got this. It's actually pretty neat. This is solid brass. Get up here a little closer where you can see it. Solid brass uh, matchbook holder. Rosebud matches, uh, 1977. And they slip in there. The candle, of course, I don't know if you can see that or not. Candle goes in there and you hold it like that. Don't have any marks or stamps or anything on it that I can find. That is stuff that's pretty neat. Um, got a two Dukes of Hazard cars. Got the Sheriff's car there. And of course the General Lee. There are those little slot cars that go on the electric track. Uh, made in 1981. Pretty neat. Um, set of spurs. They're not good and they're not old. Uh, but they're none, nonetheless a set of spurs. No markings on them either. Anywhere that I can find. Um, I got this a compass and a little measuring thing. The name escapes me at the moment. Keeping that for myself. Compass and like I said, a little measuring thing. Measure maps and little maps and so forth. Uh, one of the neater things I got from the estate sale. I got all these trophies. I got this one is. Uh, East Kentucky Gun Club, 1972, first place. Sharpshooter class, 22 caliber. Uh, East Kentucky Gun Club, 1972, marksman class, first place, 45 calendar, caliber, not calendar. And let's see. This one, uh, winter, Hurricane Creek, muzzle loaders, 1974, 25 yards offhand, winter. Let me show you these two, the uh, the guys on there. See that one? Dude's got a little pistol there shooting it. And then that one looks like Daniel Boone. 
Yeah. Pretty neat. Uh, I got this. this. is a trophy box, I guess you'd call it. It says East Kentucky Gun Club 1970 standing marksman class first place. I'll give you a closer look at this. The reason I got this one is because I opened it up and it's got all these 22 shells in it. And they're marked F. I don't know what that means if somebody could tell me. They're in sort of bad shape. Let's see if that'll focus on there. I don't know. But, uh, pretty neat. From the Blackington, VH Blackington Altebro, Al Altebro Falls, Mississippi, I guess it is. But I got all those. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Don't know if they'll sell. I just thought they were neat. Sure, if I take the tops off of them, the tops would sell. So, should make my money. Might, thought about trying to make that one into a clock. If I could find one small enough, might put me a little clock in there. Drill me a hole up through the middle. Maybe do the same with this one somewhere. Don't know where I put it. Anyway. And last but not least, I got this. I'll call it a pocket watch holder. Uh, well, first, let me show it to you here. A little close up view. Uh, let's see. Don't know if you can see there. We go. That's a pretty good shot right there. That's one side. Another side has a deer, a buck on it. Right there. Maybe you can. Yeah, right there's a good shot. Anyway, it don't have a watch with it. Uh. There, I guess, it's where you'd put like a little picture or something. Then on this side, it's where you would put your clock or your watch. It says from the Illinois Watch Case Company, uh, Elgin, Illinois, 925 Sterling Silver. I think that will be a big seller. I'm going to ask quite a bit for that and see what happens. Anyway, got all that for $5. Uh, pretty good, I think. I think I'll do pretty good on at least make my money back. Plus a little more here and there. Uh, anyway, so really, that's it for this week. Uh, as far as things of bought go. Uh, sold quite a bit. I mentioned the shoes. They're going to sell tonight. I've already got a couple bids. Like I said, I think it's... They might hit 15, I think they're at 13 or 14 right now. Um, won't, I didn't get those out to show you since technically they've not sold yet. Let me show you what has sold. Uh, Metallica cap from a couple videos ago. Don't remember how much I paid for this. I think I paid either a dollar, I either paid 25 cents or a dollar for it. Sold for $5. Uh, well, uh, let's see. The Rockstar uh, guitar, rock band guitar, whatever it is, sold again. It sold a while back, and the guy never did pay me. And I uh, relisted it, and it sold for uh, $20, and I think 50 cents, something like that. Paid, uh, how much did I paid? $2 for that. Got to try to figure out a way to ship it. I think there's a way you can take that off. I'm not sure. Anyway, that. Uh, the orange colored uh, polo shirt, paid 25 cents. It sold for, if you count shipping, it sold for $16.70. Uh, somebody paid $10, like I said, if you count shipping, $16.70. And the big sell of the week. Harley Davidson Man of War um, picture frame. Put some batteries in it. it lights up. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I see back here. It does light up. 110th anniversary. I uh, paid three dollars for it. It sold for forty-one dollars. If you count shipping, it sold for forty-eight fifty. Uh, so that was the big sale for the week. Anyway, that's all I've got for you this week. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.